Alright, hello, I'm Lewin. This is my first video, and that doesn't matter. I'm going to be showing you how to make some hidden piston doors. So, this is just my first one. I made it pretty much after 1.7.1 came out, uh, after seeing the 1.7 teaser, and I decided, hey, that's a really cool idea. How do you do it? No idea. So, um... I messed around and figured it out, like so many other people on the Minecraft forums and beyond, like I've seen. Uh, still, I think it's going to be useful to see how you do it. So, it's controlled by this switch, like you see, on, off, because default state off is closed. Alright, there's a couple of stages to this. Firstly, you have to push... Um, these four blocks and these four blocks into the middle and then these two these two need to push these dirt blocks outwards to form the um, the facade like that yep good so if I destroy that you'll see there's the sticky panel and it's all good right so firstly you push it out by um, just running wire on blocks above or sorry next to or just below the uh, the pistons 1.7.2 uh, broke this this worked fine before 1.7.2 but after 1.7.2 I had to add these two wires there and the same things true on the other side two on the top just just over the top hook it down around again and behold Alright, we're good. And that pushes the four in and retracts them again. Next step is this little repeater to keep the um, the signal going. Kind of pointless because I've got a knot gate there, but hey, what do you want? Another knot gate. Up, up, repeater. Uh, not sure why I put it there either. Up. I can't go up. <laughs> and those do nothing. But these two will push forward these pistons, and they'll retract them again later. Half the point is that the signal has to reach those two wires before it reaches these wires. Otherwise, these pistons will attempt to retract the retract. Sorry, these while they're still um, extended, and extended pistons can't be retracted, so the door will jam. So you've got to have repeaters set to, not, not maximum, but that's what I did anyway. And I try to have it the same on both sides. Just make sure that the signal reaches these blocks before it reaches these blocks. And done. Now to see it in action, we're going to go down to my hidden door. It's just down around the corner. Uh, it's not very pretty, but it's also not finished. Uh, I'll be explaining how this works, what it is, and good thing it's daytime. Switch inside, out we go, check that nothing's there. Nothing is there. Alright, switch on the outside too. I noticed that a couple of people on the forum, but more importantly a couple of people on YouTube, had videos that had doors that just didn't retract, and that was never useful, so retracting... Sorry, no, they did have doors that retracted. My bad. Some people didn't. That was a bit weird, but then they made them. More importantly, they had doors that couldn't be closed once you're inside them, and um, I had that issue up with iron doors at the top of my fortress a month or two ago, so I figured it out then uh, with the help of the wiki. It's just an XOR gate. Sorry, XOR. I should be calling it XOR, I'm a computer science student. And... Ta-da! So the gist of it is that the power comes in through the switch there, and the switch on the other side of that block. And... They feed up there to the XOR gate. The XOR gate's output feeds back down to here, splits here, is sent to the lower half there, like before, with repeaters and everything and is sent to the top half here, there, and here powers the the piston that actually pushes the stone out. Now, I've wondered about this and I 
honestly can't figure it out, so if anyone can tell me, please do. I don't know why um, power will propagate down through that to the lower piston, but it won't on this one, and I assure you that it doesn't. It used to, pre 1.7.2, but now it doesn't, and I had to rebuild my whole thing because of that. As you can see, the wiring is kind of dense. In fact, here I have a... I just have a block sitting there with nothing on it. And the reason I have that there is so that power doesn't, you know, jump from that to this, which would be bad. So we go upstairs. I like building my circuits so you can perform maintenance on them. Kind of irrelevant, but hey. So the input comes up there, comes up here and feeds into that, and then the output of this, and these two wires again feed into these, um, this line here, and then this is just, just our output line. If it's on, the doors are closed. If it's off, remember, default state is open. It will, oh, sorry, the output line will always be on if either one of these is on. And one of those will only be on, sorry, one of those will be on only if it's receiving common input. And common input means just um, this wire has to be the same as what's coming out of this. So uh, that means that it'll, you know, one of these will have common input if and only if this and this are in different states. So if this is on and this is on, the door will be open because this will set to be off. This will set to be off. If they're both off, same deal. If they're alternating, the door is closed because this is set to be on. Uh, it's an XOR gate. Very simple, to be perfectly honest. It's slightly difficult to do it in an economical amount of space, but uh, just a floor up or a floor down. Uh, so there, if you need a template, Minecraft Wiki has them, or you can just look here. Uh, input wire, input wire, single output. Okay, go. And let's see that in action again. Yep. Yep. Closed. And as before, you need, need the power to reach this here before it reaches here or here. And that only really gets difficult in this case because of the bottom wires. Okay, I hope this helps. Um, please continue to post awesome things because people are coming out with some nice piston designs and I want to see working elevators. So, go ahead. See ya.